wasn't open. That's why you you got that uh, song with him and Juvenile. Yeah, yeah. It's like he knew after going to New York and seeing Juvie, mm-hmm. that's what he wanted. And think about it, when they did that record, it was an instant hit, man. Mm-hmm. I like it like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I want to take you back down memory lane again. So we got to talk about the Saucer Boys. I had a couple mm-hmm. of things I want to, like, in 1996, mm-hmm. What? How, how crazy was that, like, to be there that night and to see everything that happened? It's, it's been no other experience like that in rap uh, the whole time that I've been in it because I think uh, – you know, it was a, it was, it was an eye opener. It was an eye opener of us understanding that this is a business. This is the world stage, and you can't just be good. You have to be great. Wow. And some people are not gonna call you great until you can show them that you can do it more than once. And mm-hmm. I think that's where a lot of people, you know, especially with the South, they took us for granted. Yeah. And. Same thing happened with Melly Mel when he got in the ring That's with right. Willie D. That's right. I remember he, that. He played around. <laughs> <laughs> he Don't play. I figured out Texas ain't nothing to play nothing with. To play so with. I just yeah. look at it like this. You, if you just look around just now, I mean, Jay Prince still here. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Luke still here. Yeah. And uh, we still here. L.A. and Babyface still here. And we still breaking records. You know, like... And I just look at the South. The only one we lost was the pimp. I, I, man, Soldier Slim too. We lost the Slim. Yeah, we lost mm-hmm. Soldier Slim. I was, I was very, very close to Soldier too. Uh, Give me a story about Soldier Slim. Oh, he was a mean on Gator boy. <laughs> that was a Gator. That was a Gator. There, man, he was mean, mean. If, he, if Slim didn't like you, he let you know he didn't like you. And he was New Orleans, so he was disrespectful Ooh. with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but you could tell in his eyes he wasn't nothing to play with. Yeah, he was just, he was just the natural to all the girls and everybody. He would, he was lovely, but to an adversary, boy, he was your worst nightmare. Wow. That's why they had to sneak and get him. They couldn't mm. get him straight up. Like you had to get him with his back turned because right. he was coming. He wasn't trying to hear it. He, he wasn't trying to hear it in no kind of way. But I mean, at the end of the day, we built like that in the south. It's like man. Fight me straight up, man. Mm. You know, but they like to sneak fight us because they know they can't handle us straight up. So it's always coming up in that kind of culture. You just realize that, you know, I mean, we was out one night. It's a famous picture of me and Slim in the club in New York. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the first night he wanted to hang out in New York. He flew to New York like, man, I'm going to try this out. And we get out in the street and uh, we winded up at a funk, funk flex party. Mm. And uh, he was tripping because he was like, damn, that was the first time Juvenile blew. That back, that back, that ass. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That record blew in New York faster than anything back then. That shit just mm-hmm. pow. Went. And I remember mm-hmm. Slim sitting there like, yo, like, mm-hmm. he playing the people. He can play me too. <laughs> 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 Let's go to the moon, baby. We go to the movie, you know they hit us with the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Slim turned around like, uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's why he looked like that yeah, in the picture. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he in the picture like this, like, like, like he was looking straight at phone man. Are y'all on that? Oh, okay, but that night it opened his mind because that was the first night I feel like. He was like, oh shit, it's possible for somebody from New Orleans to get played in New, in New York. So I think when he came back, his mind was more open to doing- Speaking to the mic. His, his mind was more open to doing radio records yeah. when it wasn't open. That's why you, you got that song with him and Juvenile. Yeah, yeah. It's like he knew after going to New York and Seeing Juvie, mm-hmm. that's what he wanted. And think about it, when they did that record, it was an instant hit, man. Oh, I like it like that. She working that back. I don't know why to ask the woman for me. Wow, if he had lived, he just lived. Man, that would have been crazy. That was, his, that was his one, you know what I mean? If he had just lived through that experience, it would have gave him a different crowd, a different record, 
and he would have learned just in those experiences. Oh, I got to, I got to shave some of this ghetto shit. Shave. You right. know what I mean? Because I got a record, and he never got to experience. But some people, it's so hard to shave that. Even when they get up there, it's like they don't want to let that part go. Well, you know, at one time, it was congratulated. It couldn't be no sugar unless somebody turned sugar on like that. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be no Jimmy Henchman unless somebody turned him on like that. It's just that I feel like this industry has a a, a real way of using you for the moment, and then you wake up in the morning and you're not needed. Mm -hmm. wow. And then don't nobody know you. That's real. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's, it's amazing because it's like, damn, okay, I was... You needed me yesterday, but today I'm too much because now the business is moving out of the streets and now we are starting to connect the music to corporate products now. So all that ghetto and gangster shit that we had put our money into and we told y'all, now we ain't flipped the, 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 the business and now it's about Nelly. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's about this. Yeah, yeah. It's about singing rap. It's about Drake. It's about, about Southern Soul. It's about something, something else. And it's Southern Soul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 that's what it is. It's about just something else. And if you look at it, they always do us like that when they've learned our formula. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.